Duxiada, Nura Din, Nura Din Iskulis. Assalamu alaikum everybody, my name is Zakaria. I'm an English teacher as you know. Our today's uh, lesson is a new unit. The number of the unit that we are going to learn is uh, 17. Uh, we are going to learn unit number 17. The title of our today's unit is Think of Tomorrow. Think of Tomorrow. Makawa grade 7. Aya Bugi grade 7. Okay. Think of Tomorrow. Uh, our today's lesson is a story uh, which is about Anab and Hannah. Ashir ke nuh wa share koko sabsan Anab ye Hannah and how they lived together. Because say wa na nolayel marka ila saudar the marka as we used to do, we will uh, read each paragraph two times. Paragraph ke stawa na wahri don nasi yusuf semin chilni. Love a chair, Maka Markore English Makarina, Makadamana. We will translate it into our mother tongue. So Malibu Bedirona. Okay. Paragraph of Kobakas Kobla Mela Stada. Anab and Hannah were two sisters who lived in Buden. They were both studying in a secondary school. They were happy and intelligent girls. Their father was very proud of them. The girl's ambitions were to finish their secondary education and join the university in either Somalia or abroad. In the final year of their secondary education, Ahmed, a son of their father's friend, arrived back from Canada and he was looking for a bride during the holiday, Anab decided to go and visit her aunt in Boro. Hannah, the younger sister, stayed at home to help her mother. Little did she know that her father was planning to marry her to Ahmed. Okay. Anab and Hannah were two sisters who lived in Buden. Okay. They were both studying in a secondary school. High school. And by secondary school. High school. Secondary school. Secondary school. High school. High school okay high school palamida maka high school ke lewdu bedigani they were happy and intelligent girls are they kalmada intelligent ma'ni hid wa hawiye smart 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 wa maskah badan o harfana qabla farahsan o no shu ku farahsan o harfana hay their father was very proud of them. The girl's ambitions were to finish their secondary education. Ambition. Ambition means aim. Ambition means goal. Hablahan uche do 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 ambo hadaf ko wo hoha in his secondary gadamayan and join the university in either Somalia or abroad. Oh, it's a matter of degree. Somalia and bedivede. In the final year of their secondary education, sanat ki ugudem be e wah bra secondary ga final means last. Okay, Ahmed. A son of their father's friend arrived back from Canada. In an Canada, and he was looking for a bride. 
وحرادينيي أرضي كلمة look for means to search or to seek وحرادين أرضي كلمة وحالة إلى هذا bride bride وحالة إلى كلمة كلمة إلى هذا bridegroom bridegroom bride groom marka bride your bride groom basically bride is used for women only kalma the bride waxa loo isticmaali kara on dumarka and as you know the word bride groom can be used for men only kalma the bride groom waxa loo isticmaali kara on raga marka bride waxa la yiraahdaa kalmada bride wa a woman who is going to uh, get married or who has just been married wa gabadha een u diyaar ka in la guursado ee gashaantida ah aan baba se aruusada ayaa waxa loo yiraahdaa bride bride groom waxa la yiraahdaa a man on his wedding day just before or uh, after a short time one ka aruska an ariska yalla yada bridegroom wa aris okay during the holiday marki lagu jiray fasixi ana decided to go and visit her aunt in buro ana waxay doontay inay u tagto oo soo booqato edded oo buro ajoogta hana the younger sister stayed at home to help her mother هنا أو أحد إن أنت يري وحي ويا كي ويا كي يري ما كان أنت كله وحي يدو دون تيني جودك شوكتو سه هو يدو عاويسو little did she know that her father was planning to marry her up to Ahmed أرضي كلمة ده marry marry off marry off means to force someone to get married وإن قف قلب قص بينه جورسدو مركا وحبك ما يقولين إنه بهذا قرشين هي إن إن أوكو قص بينه جورسدو أحمل. okay as you see we finished the first paragraph of our today's story so let's start the second paragraph paragraph كلا وقت إنه بلاوينا the as you see the first word of the second paragraph is highlighted سادر كيسان كلمة دوه الرئيسة paragraph كنا لابد و highlight كرسان تاي إلى صعدة. Hana was forced to marry Ahmed. Hana was a month later they both left for Canada. Ahmed promised Hana's father that she would continue with her education and even go on to the university in Canada. Anna went back to school and completed her secondary education. When the results came out, she had passed very well and joined the university, where she studied and completed with very good grades. She good, she got she got a very good job with a good salary. She is planning to get married. Let's translate the paragraph into Somali. Hannah was forced to marry Ahmed. Hannah was forced to marry Ahmed. A month later, they both left for Canada. Canada took him to Kadib. Ahmed promised Hannah's father that she would continue with her education. Ahmed was forced to marry Ahmed. He was forced to marry Ahmed. He was forced to marry Ahmed. He was forced to marry Ahmed. And even go on to university in Canada. I went back to school. School kibe kuna gote. I was the younger sister. Tani. And completed her secondary education. When the results came out, she had passed very well. And joined the university where she studied and completed with very good grades. Marki ay ni teacher di tan ko sab pahen. Wa exam results ki marki sab pahen. The teacher di tan ko si wana exam bo yu basta. Chama adi mina gashay. Chama adi na si wana exam bo yu damay sata. She got a very good job with a good salary. Wa hay hesha shaka wana exam o mshahar wana exam le. 
she is planning to get married now in Hidunisa in a gursa to Marka and the one that we are talking now that we are talking about now is uh, the younger sister wa in antiyare marka and the elder sister has already married in in antiyare we be gursate or she is living in canada now canada konoshai okay are the aim ko hanu bilaw in the third paragraph Paragraph is the hard one. Okay, and highlight gray. You can make the say paragraph again. What when Hannah arrived in Canada, she suffered a cultural shock. She didn't know any of her neighbors. She started feeling homesick, and her husband started mistreating her. She became very ill. The husband wouldn't take her to the hospital. She became pregnant and nine months later gave birth to a baby girl. She called her Bilan. Okay. When Hannah arrived in Canada, Canada Honey, she suffered a cultural shock. Cultural shock. As you see, it's a new word. Cultural shock means a confusion felt by someone visiting a place or country that they don't know wax la ila qofku marka uu booqanayo meel aanu horo u tagin amba aanu aqoon ee halka tago bohliyo wa ku dhaca amba confusion u yara wareera marka wareer ba ku dhacay markay tagtay canada wayo Neighbors kida and bachar kida idba kami girini. She didn't know any of her neighbors. Bachar kida idba kami girini. She started feeling homesick and her husband started mistreating her. Wahai below the ini tarento buhuliyo. And nin ke dina suhum bu ulad nagmai. Kalmida mistreat. Maani idwa huwaye to treat someone roughly or badly. She became very ill. The husband wouldn't take her to the hospital. She became pregnant. She became pregnant. Are they pregnant? I think uh, you have learned this word in your science lessons. Uh, pregnant. A woman uh, who has an uh, unborn baby growing in her stomach wa who you and orle and nine and nine months later gave birth to a baby girl in number of the sagal bilod kedibna she called her bilan bilan ba u bixisay hana waxna bilaab in ardi paragraph ki afrad so pay attention to it hana wanted to continue her studies but she didn't know what to do with the baby. There was no one to help her look after the baby. She didn't have a job because she didn't have any qualification. Two years later, she gave birth to a second child, called her Naimo. Her health started to deteriorate. Hannah did not have any direct contact with her parents because her husband wouldn't allow her. Her husband was already planning to marry again. Okay, Emuka, let's translate the fourth paragraph uh, to Somali. Hannah wanted to continue her studies. But she didn't know what to do with the young baby. There was no one to, to help her look after the baby when she is away. She didn't have a job because she didn't have any qualification. 
Two years later, she gave birth to a second child. She called her Naimo. Her health started to deteriorate. Kalma uh, does deteriorate means to uh, make worse. Wa shaygu inu siyo. I've met kidu siyo humalu bilawi. Hannah did not have any direct contact with her parents. Sito sa ulamay hiriri, hani, oiskedi, because her husband wouldn't allow her. Wa yininke du mo galain. Her husband was already planning to marry again. Okay, let's start the fifth paragraph. paragraph One day, her sister, who was missing her very much, managed to contact her through a neighbor's email address. She found out that her sister had had two children. Her husband was mistreating her and she was suffering very much. She was able to tell her mother about it, who then told her father, because both the father and the mother loved their daughter very much. They arranged for her to come home immediately. Okay, it's the second time that we are going to read this paragraph. So look here, students. Don't get bored. One day, her sister, Malinti, Malin, Aya Walashid, who was missing her very much, Taso, Ed, Uhubba Buhuliwudi, Uhatu Fredini, so we did, managed to contact her through a neighbor's email address. Aya Wahi, Kalahiri, they email ka Kofchar ka. She found out that her sister had had two children. Her husband was mistreating her. And was suffering very much. She was able to tell her mother about it. Who then told their father. Because both the father and the mother loved their daughter very much. Why? They arranged for her to come home immediately. Okay. Uh, this is the last paragraph that we are going to read. What paragraph could have been? Hannah came home with her two children, looking very thin. Her father nullified their marriage and stopped Ahmed from seeing her. She is now staying with her parents and planning to go back and complete her secondary education. Her sister has promised to pay her fees. And Hannah and her mother will look after the children. The future for Hannah will not be the same again. Okay. Hannah came home with her two children looking very thin. Her father nullified their marriage. And stopped Ahmed from seeing her. She is now staying with her parents and planning to go back and complete her secondary education. Her sister has promised to pay her fees. And her mother will look after the children. The future for Hannah will not be the same again. Okay, I think this story about Hannah is so interesting. Are they paragraph Kasa would be Asher Kidi, Makawa Hadela, Yasalam Alikum Rahmatullah, or Bergatu, a line of Asher Dambe, or English as women I know. وحيد الله عشرة سونا سونا صعدة سونا يكسر نودي
Ed Bedmezinti.